All right, so this is gonna be a quick video. We're just going to talk about elevation resolution. The reason I wanna talk about this is a lot of people tell me they get tripped up when they see one little term, and it has to do with elevation. So if you can get this term and elevation cemented in your mind, and make these questions very easy. So for elevation, of course, slice thickness is what we're talking about. This generally is the worst measure of resolution in any array transducer. So if we have a fixed focal length lens on our array, then we will have improved elevation resolution, but only at that focal distance. So if you look at this diagram here, you can see how the, the near field, of course, is the size of the, the crystal. We have our focal point, and that is where our elevation thickness is the best and then it gets muddy again after that. So it's slightly muddy before, very good at the focus, and then it diverges quickly and becomes pretty muddied afterwards. One way to compensate is to use multiple crystals, which we can do, and so they put these crystals side by side. You have multiple focal zones and you create a path where at different depths you have different focuses and that kind of fixes some of the problem, but what we've recently realized is that if they use not only multiple columns of crystals but multiple rows of crystals we can actually focus in the elevation direction as well so that would be known as a 1.5d transducer so just specifically if you can cement in your mind 1.5d with elevation thickness that's pretty much what you're going to need to know and let me show you what that means so 1.5d will have not only columns of crystals, but it also have the rows of crystals. And typically there's going to be five to seven rows of crystals. And with this, we can have multiple focal zones along the elevation direction, not just side by side, but kind of on top of each other. So as you can see in this one, elevation resolution is dependent on the transducer element height. So instead of having one tall crystal that comprises the whole face of the transducer. We break it up into smaller crystals that we can focus at a specific point, which will give us that very narrow beam thickness, even though we have the five different crystals. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or want more videos like this, we have a full curriculum of videos, practice tests, flashcards. So visit us at examrefresh.com and we'll see you on the next one.